How are robots and the Internet of Things, when more and more items are connected to the Internet, how are they improving everyday accessibility? We need all stakeholders in our society to make technology available to all. People with no disability, they cannot really imagine what that really means for people like me. There are 253 million visually impaired people in the world, and these people have been still using just a plain stick. Cities can be difficult places to navigate at the best of times, but for some with disabilities, they can turn into gauntlets. With nearly 200 million people globally experiencing a severe disability, stairs, curbs, train gaps, even crosswalks can be impassable obstacles. But as devices grow smarter, cities are becoming more accessible. In fact, the assistive tech industry will be worth an estimated $30 billion by 2024. That's up from $14 billion in 2015. And when those with disabilities are around 40% less likely to be employed, access, of course, has a huge impact on the economy as well. It's very important to invest in our field because there's a multiplicator effect. If we develop new technologies, it does not help just single persons. It helps a large group of, of users. Three of the most cutting-edge examples are already changing lives. My accident was in Dijon with a motorcycle. In the first second you, you know what happens. Can you see a new car and you can see it on the road. Can you see it? Can you see it? Jose, he wrote us about uh, half a year ago an email that he would like to test the wheelchair. Our goal is to develop a wheelchair that can climb stairs. Cool. <laughs> so can you all. Thank you. Again. Hey, super. Hast du super gemacht? Funktioniert? Ja. Nee, ist wirklich ich ja, fast Tränen. Wirklich super. Ja. The goal was to make a, 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 really, a really cool robot at the start, but then it switched over to, to developing this product because we saw there was such a huge need for, for the people. That need is felt in cities across the world. In Paris, the European Union's largest city, only nine out of more than 300 metro stations have full disabled access as of 2019. I think there's a boom in the development of assistive technologies. Systems are getting more robust and smaller and smaller. These smaller systems are allowing assistive tech to become increasingly wearable. I'm diagnosed of uh, pit limb myopathy. That's a genetic disease. I lose muscle cells everywhere. I have not enough uh, muscle strength to really hold me. Hi, Michael. Hey. I have the hey. Maya suit for you to try. Oh, great. What we are developing uh, as an exomuscle is rather a system that assists people that need extra force or extra um, assistance in, the, in their daily life. You hear the motors of the system, so um, the way that the tendon is routed from the muscles here in the backpack, it's really extending the hip and the knee. So it's the same muscle groups that we use, uh, this uh, muscle that we need, the gluteus and the quadriceps, to really extend both joints at the same time. I really have this vision in mind to do um, a mountain hike with my son. My family thinks, yeah, you're crazy, Michael. So I, I, I never really thought that I would do a marathon. Yeah. Robotics does not only connect to the body of a person, but also to many other devices, which are connected by the idea of Internet of Things. By 2025, there'll be an estimated 25 billion connections between these things around the world. This will transform how devices operate within cities. Unfortunately, I cannot name a single city as a perfectly disabled friendly city. That's why we are trying to provide this independency for visually impaired people.
Hoş geldin. Merhaba. Merhaba. Evet. WeWalk is a smart cane developed for visually impaired people. Uh, you can easily connect WeWalk to your smartphone via WeWalk's application. And it's so enjoyable. Uh, you know, you can talk with your cane and your cane is answering you. Navigation'a gelirse hadifler. Navigation. <gülüyor> Çift tıkla. Star. Start diyebiliriz. Another of WeWalk's capabilities is obstacle detection. Embedded in the handle is an ultrasonic sensor that maps the user's surroundings. If an obstacle is detected, the stick warns the user by vibration. Daha önce aslında ben WeWalk'u bir çağ kapanırken yeni bir çağ başlıyor olarak. All of these technologies have had interest from other industries, indicating that the good health of the assistive tech sector can only be a good thing for society. There is a lot of new movement and there will be a lot of new results. We apply cool technology, robotic technology, which attracts many people who do not have a relationship to any kind of uh, person with a disability. So it opens the minds of many people.